Councillor Vanderbus, um, the advice I've been given is that in alleging that you or anybody else could not get a contract unless you developed a particular relationship with the staff member is tantamount to uh, alleging uh, fraud or corruption. <coughs> And in the absence of any evidence, and you haven't provided any, it is not acceptable to have that allegation made in public. Um, but in addition, we're talking about a current procurement policy, not historic, uh, um, not historic issues. So please confine yourself to what is in here. I hope, Your Worship, is that this new current procurement policy will address historic issues that I and many other suppliers to the DCC have experienced. When you say that I haven't provided any evidence of the cosy relationship problem that I have had with DCC managers, some of them, that is not true. I have told you personally of a relationship Van, with a DCC manager where I had to pay a 10% backhander order. to get a contract. I have told you that, and I have told you that repeatedly. Yes. You have challenged me to come up with that evidence. I have given you personal evidence. Yes. What more evidence yes. could you want? Yes. Can you please tell me for what reason you would like me to leave the meeting? Yes, because you are creating disorder after I've spoken. You are making false allegations and I've already asked you, told you, that you cannot do that in public. Please leave. They are not false. It is you that is making the false allegation. When you claim that I haven't given you the evidence, I have. You, sir, are No evidence has ever been produced for any of the allegations you've made. I have Need given you me personal evidence in your office, right. evidence I'm prepared to oh, swear on a Bible oh, for. I've told you, I've told chief executives, Second. don't tell me I'm a liar. To learn from my experience, Your Honour, Your Worship, is most disappointing. Well, we've come back now. Um, for the benefit um, of uh, the community and the media. I want to understood unequivocally that on no occasion that allegations have been made about staff by the member who has left either to me or to this chief executive or to the previous chief executive have ever been backed up by evidence which is why I claimed uh, the member is a liar in accusing me of receiving any such evidence that needs to be clear. Right, we'll go back to the 